The championship relegation battle is absolutely insane. Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we are taking a deep dive into the cauldron that is the championship relegation battle. And as you can see, there is still so much to fight for with just three games of the championship 23-24 season to go. We've had some twists and turns and some crazy results recently and some key fixtures coming up, including head-to-head -head games with teams at the bottom of the table facing off against each other. Today we're going to see if we can figure out which two teams will be relegated with Rotherham down to League One at the end of this season. Before we get into the video, guys, I'm always interested to know your thoughts, especially if you support a team in the bottom half of the championship. Comment down below how you are feeling and go on, let's go for it. Get your predictions in for which three teams are going down. Of course, we know Rotherham are, but which other two teams are going down with them and which teams do you think are just going to get over the line at the end of the season? Get your predictions in. While you are there, guys, make sure to hit the like button will go for 1000 likes it's free to do so please make sure to hit the thumbs up button get involved if you like your championship content by clicking a like and if you haven't already subscribed make sure to subscribe once again it's free to do and you'll be doing me a massive favor and we're trying to bring you the best championship content we can with all of that said Let's talk about the teams involved. So then, just making a general observation with three games to go, I've highlighted eight teams that I think are involved, and it will be two from eight to go down. If you're not already clued up on the championship, then just take a look at the table. Rotherham United have been cut adrift for some time, and they were relegated a couple weeks ago now. And with only three games to go, we can now start to work out which teams are involved. So yes, I've included Millwall, but not Watford. Now, Watford technically, and Swansea as well technically could get relegated at the end of the season if you do the maths here 53 points might not be enough but if we're being realistic guys not every team down here is going to win three out of three these teams are down at the bottom for a reason they've not won many games all season that said what I will say though is some of them have pulled out some interesting results recently and I do expect the tide to possibly rise a bit towards the end of the season as teams start to go all out for wins as things get desperate in the final week or two. So then that leads me on to the first big question today and that is how many points do you need to survive in the championship this season? Well, obviously, we're not going to know until game week 46, but let's see if we can take an educated guess. A couple weeks ago, during the international break, I hazarded a guess that you'd probably need 49 to just survive. Obviously, if we want to talk in comfortable terms, get to 51 and you're safe. But I think if you're talking about just getting over the line, 49 with maybe not the worst goal difference as well, because it could come down to that. But I've said 49 for a little while. Let's have a look at a stat here to see if it'll back me up. Let's have a look at the projection for the total points these teams will get based on if they get the same amount of points in the next three games that they've got in the last three games. Obviously take this with a pinch of salt because some teams have got more difficult games coming, some teams have got more favourable games coming, but this would be the projection based on if the teams get the same amount of points in the next three that they did in the last three games. And you can see there, Rotherham obviously already relegated, but the next few teams with the lowest points tallies are QPR with 48, Birmingham with 48, and Huddersfield Town with 48. It would have Sheffield Wednesday and Stoke City just getting over the line with 49 points, and it would come down to goal difference between those three teams on 48 points, because obviously there's only two spaces to fill, and if you just take a quick glance at the goal difference it would suggest that Birmingham City would maybe just get over the line but as I say take that with a pinch of salt some teams might do better in their next coming game some teams might do worse but that gives us a rough idea and does kind of support my argument that 49 will just be enough technically if you have 48 and a decent goal difference you might be okay as well but that's where we are just looking at that stat so then as I say I think it'd be about 49 points it could be a little bit more it could be a little bit less but let's just make a couple things clear 45 points will not be enough this season that's because Birmingham City still have to face Huddersfield so that obviously means a draw in that game would take Huddersfield to 45 but Birmingham would go past them to 46 or if Birmingham Birmingham lost all of their games and stayed on 45 obviously it means three points would be handed to Huddersfield Town so just to make that clear 45 points will not be enough to stay up 53 points is almost certain for safety with the fact that Sheffield Wednesday's goal difference is so bad and Birmingham City have to face Huddersfield so 53 points will be enough for pretty much everyone 
except possibly Sheffield Wednesday if everyone else won. But like I say, if Sheffield Wednesday get to 53, I think they'll be okay as well. So then, like I say, interpret that however you wish. It could be that all the teams down here really flollop over the line and it means that 47 points is just enough to stay up. It could be that they all start picking up big wins and you need to get to 50 points. Like I said, I'm thinking 49 possibly 50 so i'll still say millwall are just about not safe yet but i think they should be let's have a look at these eight teams fixtures because i've designed this so you can compare everyone on the same page so then let's start with the teams at the top and you've got millwall on 50 points they've got sunderland away plymouth at home and swansea away like i say even if they lost all three they might still be okay then it's blackburn rovers who host sheffield wednesday that one really does feel like a massive game if blackburn can win I think they're safe. If they lose, it puts the cat amongst the pigeons. Then they have Coventry at home and Leicester City away. Plymouth Argyle face back-to-back -back away trips, going to Stoke and Millwall. Big six pointers there. It's a good job Plymouth got those three points against Leicester because these games do look tricky, given that Plymouth haven't picked up as many away wins as they have home wins. Their final game is at home to Hull City, who might be chasing for the playoffs. Then you've got QPR, who face back-to-back -back home games, Preston and Leeds, which is actually not their strong suit. QPR QPR tend to be better away, but I'm sure looking at those three games there with the final one being Coventry away, QPR will fancy themselves at picking off one more win at least. Stoke City have Plymouth at home, then Southampton away, then Bristol City at home, a bit of a mixed bag there. Birmingham City face back-to-back -back away trips to Yorkshire to teams in the bottom three, relegated Rotherham and Huddersfield Town who are right on their heels. That is a massive game. Then it's Norwich at home on the final day. As for Huddersfield, it's back-to-back -back home games, Swansea and Birmingham before a very tricky looking away trip to Ipswich Town. Huddersfield Town fans will certainly think they need to be above the bottom three going into that game as that'll be a very tricky one to chase the win especially if Ipswich need the three points themselves and then finally Sheffield Wednesday have Blackburn away West Bromwich Albion at home and Sunderland away once again I'd say a bit of a mixed bag there for Sheffield Wednesday so then they are the remaining three fixtures for all of the eight teams I think that are involved in the championship relegation battle what do I think they need to do in those games or where do I think they're at as they go into them well for Millwall I think they should be safe anyway. I know that's not the approach Millwall fans will want to take. They'll still be taking it serious until they're mathematically safe. But I think they should be safe anyway. One or two more points should just calm the nerves of any Millwall fans that are still a little bit anxious. As for Blackburn Rovers, it could all hang on their next game. If they can beat Sheffield Wednesday, I think they're safe. Even if they draw to them, I'm not saying they need to go for a draw. But if they just find that they don't lose to Wednesday, that might just do it. As we said, it would open up a can of worms for Blackburn Rovers if they lose to Wednesday because then they have Coventry and Leicester in the final two games. As for Plymouth Argyle, I think one more point probably makes them safe given that their goal difference is pretty good as well. Two more points and it's very very likely for me that Plymouth Argyle stay up. So if Plymouth Argyle can grind out a draw in one of the next two away games that might just get them over the line before the final day. As for QPR, one more win should do it. They've not won in their last three games, but if they can pick off a win against Preston or even Leeds, that should do the trick for QPR as it would take them up to 50 points. I'd say the same applies for Stoke City, who are currently on 47 points as well as QPR. One more win should do it. And if they can beat Plymouth Argyle, then they will leapfrog them. That's a massive game. Then it gets a little bit more tricky as there's a two-point jump down from Stoke to Birmingham. And with Birmingham, I would say four points should do it. Don't take my word for that. You might need five points, but I think four points should do it. I must say, though, of course, that that is with the caveat that they do not lose to Huddersfield. Given the position Birmingham are in, if they can pick off a win against Rotherham and then go to Huddersfield and get a draw, it might just take them over the line. It might just be enough. We'll see where we are in a game or two. But I think the key thing here for Birmingham City is just not to lose the Huddersfield game. A win would be massive but just make sure you don't lose it. Then we come on to Huddersfield where they might need five or six points. So that's possibly two wins needed in the next three games. And the next two are key. They face mid-table Swansea City at home and then it's Birmingham City at home. If they can pick off two wins in those two, they might find themselves safe before the final day. That said though, I do think looking at Huddersfield Town's position right now, 
there's a very, very high chance that they're going to go to Ipswich not knowing if they're safe yet. The final team to mention then are Sheffield Wednesday, who have improved massively as the season's gone on. But are they just running out of legs? Are they just struggling to make that final jump at the final hurdle? Well, I think they need five or six points, just like Huddersfield. The key thing here for Sheffield Wednesday is if it comes down to goal difference, they will be down because their goal difference is the worst down here. So with that said... They might need to go for six points instead of five. I think they can afford one more defeat, but they need to make sure they get two wins. So then the championship relegation battle is just so close. I mean, God, I can't imagine how some of the fans of these teams are feeling right now. I think there's a very high chance that we're going to go into the final game of the season with still about four or five, possibly six teams, not knowing if they're going to be in the championship next year or in League One. Now, as a neutral from this point of view, I must say, I'm always rooting for the underdog, which means I always want the teams currently in the bottom three to get results, to just spice it up even more. But then it obviously changes. Birmingham City were in the bottom three a week ago. They've now jumped out. Can Huddersfield now overtake them again? Will Stoke or QPR get pulled in? Will Sheffield Wednesday finally make the jump and get out? of it if i was to tell you my hunch right now going through each of the teams millwall i think are safe i don't want to say 50 points is definitely enough but i think it should be the same probably for blackburn but if they do lose to sheffield wednesday then for me they are nowhere near safe just yet because i also expect birmingham to get a result against rotherham at the same weekend as for Plymouth, they're not safe yet. I'm still keeping one eye on them. I'm leaning towards them staying up more over going down. But with those two away games against Stoke and Millwall, oh, they could be they could be massive. If I was a Plymouth fan, I'd be pretty nervous right now. The same applies for QPR, although I do think QPR probably get out as well. They've been really impressive under Sifuentes, but have they just taken a bit of a dip in form at the wrong time? Because no wins in the last couple and they've been sucked back into it. The next two games are at home, but as we know, QPR's home form's not been completely perfect. But I just think one more win, and if they can do it against Preston, then they're safe. The same applies for Stoke. If they can beat Plymouth, they're safe for me. If they can beat just any of their next three, they're safe because that would take them to 50 points. So should be okay but if they don't beat Plymouth they've got Southampton away after that so like I say I think if Stoke don't beat Plymouth there's a strong chance they're going to go into the final day needing a result then as for Birmingham I don't want to say they've definitely won the Rotherham game just yet but if they put in the performance they did against Coventry against Rotherham then they'll do it honestly they were so good against Coventry and I'm still still thinking about how impressive they were so credit to them they're a team that know how to get over the line, but they're in a tricky situation here, 45 points. And if we're going to couple Birmingham and Huddersfield up together here, I think it's going to come down to their fixture against each other. It's one of them where the loser is in lots of trouble. The winner will feel like they're on top of cloud nine. I mean, it's a massive, massive game. And of course, Sheffield Wednesday will be keeping an eye on that one. I've backed Sheffield Wednesday for a long time now, but given their goal difference and the fact that there's a little bit of a gap between Huddersfield and Stoke, Wednesday can't afford to lose to Blackburn. They probably need to win, but if they lose, oh, that could be it. It could be, but then they'd still have the opportunity to get to 50 points if they won their last two, so... I don't know. If I have to finish this video with a bit of a prediction then, I don't want to go into too much detail because it can change so quickly, but Watford and Upwards are safe. Millwall are going to be safe. Oh, the thing is, Blackburn, if they, if they avoid defeat to Sheffield Wednesday, they're safe. Even if they don't, they just need another draw. I think Blackburn are going to be okay. QPR, I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to pick off one more win in their next three. As for Plymouth and Stoke, it could come down to their game. It's the head-to-heads that are really hurting my head. And as for Birmingham Huddersfield, I think it's the head-to-head -head that separates them. What I will say is, I think with Birmingham and Huddersfield, one of them will go down, one of them will stay up. I can't see both staying up and both going down. I'm stalling for time here. Let me just give you my final hunch. Millwall, Blackburn, Plymouth, QPR are going to be okay. I'm going to go with it to be two from the four teams there. I think Birmingham are going to escape. Um, and I still have a feeling Sheffield Wednesday are going to have a say. 
So what I'd say is, if I was a Huddersfield fan, I'd feel nervous. I think you've got to win the Swansea game. If I'm a Stoke fan, I'm a bit nervous as well. Oh, it's, it's too hard, isn't it? Do you know what? I'll stick with my prediction from the international break, which was Stoke and Huddersfield to go down. But honestly, I'd, I'd, I don't feel confident predicting this. It's, it's so close. It can all change. Like I say, I'll, I'll put it to you guys. I've not got a problem with any of the teams down here. I wish them all the best, but ultimately, two have to go down with Rotherham. So I'll put it to you guys in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts. I think if you get to 49... 50 you're safe so let me know your thoughts if you've enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe we'll come back and revisit this after the next set of games i'll see you in the next one for now though take care peace out